Hello everyone, welcome back to another star staple video. Today we have the working equitation race. I almost said equitation ranch, but we also ironically, is ironically the right term, have logged in here in Moorland. So first things first, we're going to go check out the brand new free item in the pay once star rider shop. I don't know, I'm pretty sure they call it pay once star rider, but when I got it, it was called the lifetime star rider. So yes, but here we have the saddle blanket and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. And what I want to do is go home and make an outfit with it so in the star stable uh, picture for this race they actually had an arabian on the picture so i wanted to get an arabian maybe because i think arabians might be good for equitation riding i guess maybe that's why they had it there i don't know which arabian to ride though oh we sh we could ride on olive what horse were they riding on in the picture let me just double check Ah, it was the red Rabicano one. So we just are riding on the black Rabicano because I think my red one is actually fully maxed. So we want to get as much XP as we can. Chuck on a lovely black saddle, black bridle. And let's get some green leg wraps. I think we have matching ones, don't we? Maybe we don't have matching ones yet. I might use these ones here because they bring out the yellow a little bit. It looks a little bit funny, but... It's just an outfit. What are you going to do about it? I also want to use the sunflowers. They're kind of pretty. I don't like these yellow leg wraps. Uh... I, it's funny how I feel like my outfit looks a little bit weird, but it's just going to have to work. Yeah, it's an interesting outfit. We can take the little bunny rabbit with us that came with the rock horses. I don't know, it's got the green and the yellowish color on it. It's fine. It's a fine outfit. Obviously, it probably matches more with the Lifetime Star Rider outfit, but I don't always like riding in the sets as a set because I like to be a bit more creative, you know? Let's head to Silverglade Manor though because that is where we have the equitation race at. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I actually love equitation. I think it is just really cool. I don't know. I was watching some of the in real life equitation races and they just look so cool. So yeah, and they're just honestly really fun to do in Star Stable because it's different to just a jumping race or just a cross country race or whatever else there is. It's like its own special little thing. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I made it, but I, I I went too far. I went too far. Okay. There is a lot of people here. We might have to quickly invisible everyone just so I can get a clean view of the race. No hard feelings, you guys. Working equitation challenge round two. So the only requirement to do working equitation is to have finished the first quest. I can't remember if the first equitation race had more requirements. I can't remember. It's about time for another challenge, don't you think? Fair warning, those tight turns come at you pretty fast. So you'd best keep on your hooves, Olive. Let's go. 20 character XP. Yes, please. Okay, this one's looking, you know, similar to all the other ones, but I'm guessing... Oh, I love the bell. The bell is probably my favorite equitation, like... What's it called? Equitation obstacle? But a bell's not an obstacle. I don't know. It has the same, the, I can't even remember what I was trying to say before I started talking about the bell. It looks very hectic right now, like, I would not be able to remember where to take my horse in these equitation races, just because it seems so difficult, like, how do you remember? Let me know, wait, do you, do any of you guys do equitation in real life? Let me know in the comments below. I want to knock a barrel over. Oh, it only knocks the cone over. Okay, I wanted to knock the barrel over and have the barrel and the cone fall over, but that isn't how my life went today. Oh, I love equitation so much. It's just so fresh, you know? It's just different, and it's really fun to have that different... Oh, I love gates as well. It's, it's fun to have a different... What's it called? Riding style in the game as well? 
Oh my gosh. I absolutely, for some reason my horse loves going up onto those flowers. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll do it again. Like I said, a bit trickier than the other one, right? You're welcome to try it again whenever you'd like. So let's actually do the first one and then we'll do the second one. Because I haven't done the first one in quite a while. But it does look very quiet compared to the second one, as we will see. The turns are definitely a lot easier. But um, this race is a lot less complicated. But the second equitation race is something that you're just going to get used to you know the more you do it every day it'll just you know you remember how to actually like the course of the race if that makes sense funny how my heart is wired it doesn't make any sense to me but who am i to question my feelings i I'm i don't know what to say for a solid few seconds there my mind just went completely blank i'm really tired how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well i think you guys are going back to school if you're going back to yes oh i love the bell and i hope you guys are having a good time at school you're gonna have a good year at school this year personally i graduate in two and a half months you guys that is crazy it's starting to feel a little bit more real i have to organize how to move out like it's all kind of coming very real but i i first have to focus on my final and mock exams <laughs> oh gosh so that was the first beginner level equitation race so is the next race called intermediate it is okay so i'm going to guess that we might be getting another equitation race in the future which is advanced which is pretty fun if this is intermediate i don't even know what to, i don't even want to know what advanced is but can you guys see how much fuller this arena is compared to the other one there's a lot of stuff going on around here lots of weaving like around these poles you're doing like a three point barrel race if that makes sense let's see then we'll go around this one right yeah oh my gosh this is so fun it makes so much more sense when you like sit back for the second time and are able to view the obstacles that you're going on because i didn't even see that these were like in a triangle like this i just saw them as barrels oh i went the wrong way my bad but now that i'm looking at them with fresh eyes or something i don't know i can see that it's a type of barrel race which is so cool is equitation meant to be a western discipline or an english discipline i don't actually know i'm leaving you for someone else but it's not who you might think it is it's someone the very end i think this is the end right yes that is the end i want to go do some googling on equitation equitation is the art or practice of horse riding or horsemanship more specifically equitation may refer okay equitation racing i just want to learn a little bit more about it really quick horse racing okay now i don't know equitation working equitation oh maybe if i search up working equitation Working equitation is an equestrian discipline. The world uh, regulatory body is the World Association for Working Equitation. There are four different levels of working equitation. Novice, intermediate, junior, and advanced. I wonder whether Star Stable is going to follow that. Because currently we have beginner, which I guess is just another word for novice. It, oh, is working equitation English or Western? Uh, working equitation can be done in any tack, Western or English or national styles. The partnership will first complete a dressage test with levels of basic right up to higher levels. The next phase will be ease of handling these say test test the obedience and partnership of horse rider as they complete post comp ah, obstacles. Okay, that's really awesome. What horses are used? Uh, for example, ooh. The German 2014 World Championship consisted of halfling, a quarter mix, an Irish cob, golden pinto, and a quarter horse. So I guess there's quite a few different types of horses you can ride. Anyways, that was really interesting. I like learning new stuff about horses. Not like new new stuff. Like obviously I already knew about working equitation from the other one when I googled it. But I'm just refreshing my memory a little bit. Learning a few more things I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to like cover the fact that I'm not a horse rider in real life and that's totally fine. I don't 
my game just crashed. It didn't even give me a network error. Like, I don't know if it's my internet and I did just get a network error or if it just crashed. I have no idea. I'm looking on right now purely to do my outro. Nope, okay, I guess it's not gonna work. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe because those are both free ways of supporting me. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye! Already love